We're officially in the building, dude. I fixed the sound problem. The cord was out of the laptop. Wow. It's back in. We're ready. How many now, time, how mean, many times have we done this before? Every week. I know. And, and still, I, I'll tell you what. I don't make any effort to help you out. With the sound? I just sit here and watch watch this dude just turn. He, <laughs> You've never come close to understanding this soundboard. It still mystifies me, it, dude. <laughs> you don't know what one knob does. You just start turning them. I, we got to figure out whose cord is which. That takes five minutes. Usually yeah. one or two of those are right. You just hit a button and turn something down, and I don't know what I, it is. Well, that was a third mic that's not plugged in, but I don't know <laughs> if this board will pick up some other sound. Yeah, we used to turn There's the... no way it's just going to pick up a third. So you don't know, dude. You don't know about ambient sound. <laughs> True. No one knows how the Yamaha works, dude. Dude, the MGXU5100 or whatever this is. Dude, the... Uh, MG12XU. That's whew. a big sound board. This is a good board. It's professional quality. I mean, it's crazy how it's good this is. 200 bucks, dude, at Guitar Center. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting... Dude, the gear is going to... We laugh now, but we'll be crying wow. when we swipe the plastic wow. on those on the new gear. Can't wait to see the new gear. I can't. I'm actually really excited to just yeah, really dude. invest. We're gonna invest. We're gonna invest our in our cold hard cash. We're gonna invest because we believe in each other. Yep, that's what it's about. That's what I'm talking about. And we believe in our entire the, the umbrella of beautiful podcasts that we're developing underneath our beautiful podcast. Yep, we are the fertilizer. I mean, we we laid down our lives for it. <laughs> Pretty much, we dude. sacrificed ourselves. We gave it all, dude. <laughs> we did give it all. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Just peeping my new iPhone 11. Oh, you got an iPhone 11? Come on, bro. You know me. What's it do? Straight cash, homie. You, I saw the commercial for that this morning. Yeah. Talking about how you can take like a slow mo. It was just a slow mo selfie. It's like I can do that on the iPhone 8. Man, if that's I a weird a, advertising. If I took point. a slow mo selfie. That it'd be crazy. <laughs> you haven't yet? No, I I avoid pictures. True. Like a Native American. Do you really? Yeah. They avoid pictures a lot. I don't know. There's always a, you know. That it, they thought it would steal your soul. Ah, uh, eh, they might have been onto something. Yeah, we had a janitor that was like that in high school. You had a Native American. Janitor? He wasn't Native though. He was some sort of fucking Amish. He's just Italian. He was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like the, the picture uh, captured your soul. <laughs> so you had an Amish janitor. We had like an Amish, jan- yeah, Mennonite guy. Damn. And if you took his picture, he would fucking spaz. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I mean, with the invention of the camera phone, he was fucked. Would he spaz you in like old high dramatic? Yeah, dude, they, they, we had, like, Mennonites. We had some Amish that would, like, seep into our school. What? How did they go? Uh, they, like, there's certain, once you, like, not all Amish are, like, horse and buggy. Gotcha. You know? Like, when you start getting into, like, Mennonites and shit, they can drive, like, cars, but they have to be black. They can dress, like, certain, yeah. They, like, rarely shower. That's what's up. Yeah. Might well, be a Mennonite. Until you're sitting behind one. Oh, really? Yeah. Dirty Amish. So the, the, I do. Don't look at me. I hate the Amish, dude. I <laughs> Why? Can't, I I'm I'm biased against the Amish. They're pretentious. The yeah, dude, I just don't like it. Plug in, you fucking luddites. Plug in, you goddamn luddites. We'll never hear, dude. Fuck you guys. Dude, um, true. They might though. Some of the boys out in the Amish. Oh, on Rum Springers. Out in out. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Shout out to everyone on Rum Springer, dude. Yeah, stay. Honestly, out. dude, I was reading an article about. You ever hear of SPXX Church? No. So they're like, and I think I'm saying that right. They're old school Catholics who are like, they're kind of Amish in like terms of like they they're forming like close knit communities out in like the Midwest, and it's like they'll take over a town <laughs> and just revamp it. And everyone's on a 1950s lifestyle fetish. It's where it's like you go there, yeah. It's like literally wife and kids, the wives stay like all the pretty much all the wives stay at home. Church, it's like it's. They go back to Catholicism before the uh, what was the council that like yeah 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 when they backpedal a little. Yeah, they're when like, they, like eh. took it easy with the Latin and stuff. They're like, yeah. we don't need to do this in Latin. They're like full force on oh. all of it, and they live like that. They take over the town center, and like apparently everything's like you go there and it's like thriving. But like, dude, like girls aren't like there. There was a uh, the boys basketball team. There's a female referee, and they were like, we're not the, the team got the game got canceled. No, yeah, the game got canceled because they were like, there's boys out here. They're gonna be like running around. They're not gonna be able to focus be on the rock game hard. It wasn't even rock hard. It was like they can't give it their all if they're worried about bumping into a female referee out of respect because they're so respectful. They're going to be, oh, excuse me, ma'am, and like they would be like real cautious around the lady That's referee. what, no. I swear to God, it was in the fucking Atlantic. They re- they refused, according to the reporter, they refused to play because they were like, it'd be kind of disrespectful to be like running up and down real fast around this girl. We might spook her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Look, sick. People are flocking out. Apparently, it's doing pretty well. That's where we should build a studio. Out in SPX, we should SPX set up shop X. out there and be like, "Yes, dude, women, <laughs> you need to cover your head at mass. 
The whole mass <laughs> needs to be in Latin. The priest, <laughs> the priest faces the other way. I'm pretty sure in they a Latin go. Mass. I'm pretty sure they're full back to it. But they're, they also there's the other thing too when like the church backpedaled on like how like they're like yeah being gay is not that big of a deal. They're like we're going back to like no uh, no it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah they're they're like yeah, yeah no you can't. Yeah. No gay, no being gay, and like the same thing with like the uh, the town pool apparently got shut down because they didn't want the boys to see the girls in like bathing suits and shit. Yeah, so it's pretty legit. I like that. But they do they use, shut it down. Dude. They use electricity. They use everything. But they're just like you go to the, it. It just look like a normal town, but you have people in there and they're fucking. And they're, they're whack jobs, like dude. Old school Catholic. Do they have a picture of the dude and his family, him and his six kids? They're gonna end up bringing back. They're gonna bring back the clan out there. Someone's gonna be like, we need to fuck these Catholics up again. Ooh. You know what I mean? They're gonna instill some other town to be like. What about what if we go back too? Remember what we were doing? True. We fuck these Catholics. You up think again. some Protestants are gonna go back? That's why the Prots were doing that. Nah, the Prots are the too soft. Were out being weird. Prots are too soft now because there there was like they were talking <laughs> about the old neighbors who were kind of like, you know, like oh man, we used to, we lived here before, and they're you know probably just some like wasps. So it's like it's out in like a nice area in the Midwest, or just normal Catholics. If you were just a normal <laughs> person, you'd be like, this sucks. This True. is crazy. Probably not even a wasp. They're just regular people living in a town. They're yeah. like, it's like the uh, remember that when like the Indian guru dude moved yes. into a town. It's like that. But with like just Notre Dame fans moved to the town. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're all upset there's a black leprechaun now. I don't know. They no, never I think t- racial racially, I'm sure they're great. Because that was never really instilled in any teaching. True. So oh, like, I mean, yeah, if you got down with it, I'm sure, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I think No, I, but in the fifties, Catholics were like pro civil rights. Okay. So like if they're like Notre Dame was like at the front of that. At the forefront. Yeah, they were fighting the Klan, dude. I mean, if you went down there and you were just like super respectful, they would probably be pretty cool about it. I, I'm i guessing. But there's yeah. also that pers- that same personality type that's being like, we got to revoke the Vatican too. Yeah. I would suspect would just be like- the, You would imagine. The one black family that might be fucking like squeezing his forehead in church. Like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is oh. this? But again, I don't know, dude. These people might be on- the, I, I don't know. It's like anything else. Half a pro- there'd be some eyebrows wiggling where they're like, I don't know. It's either there. It's either I'm gonna check his taxes. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> what sport does he play? How did he get out here? <laughs> What's he doing out here? But I, think I don't they're, know. They're probably or that, or they're just overly just up in the black family's ass. You think? Just like we love you so much. That could be the you case. Know what I mean, let's take another picture. <laughs> yeah, they, they, right. they give you like, let's yeah, get another yeah, picture. Yeah. You guys want to be on a brochure? Hey, why don't you hop in this selfie with us? <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. I was reading the article. It's pretty wild. And they said these the town's been growing. Like They're like, dude, we build a school. It fills up. We build another one. It fills up. They're like, lots of people are coming. The one guy who went over there was like working seven days a week. Couldn't go to fucking church. He was working so much. Oh. So he like reached out to some people who knew some people, moved into the SPXX community. And then, like, dude, he was like, they gave me a job at a place. I got six kids now. Not allowed to use birth control either. Hell yeah. Women aren't allowed to use I birth don't. control. The same thing like rumspring and shit. Like, if you're the kids, if they don't abide, they can leave. But I think you get ex- excommunicated. If you question at all, if you question your faith, man, you get kicked out of the, the church. There has to be a guy behind this. There has to be one dude. There's a dude, there's who, a dude, there's a dude the who owns the factory who everybody works at. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. There's going to like, be a dude at the top. For sure, dude. 100 The money's being kicked up. Man, they probably I, watched like It's a Wonderful Life, and we're like, "This is what we should be doing, dude." Just a nice town, small town. Mm-hmm. I just watched that for the first time. Is it good? No, <laughs> but my dad <laughs> cried at the end of it. <laughs> Wait, what was your Christmas gift? So you? funny. Hold on. Hold Go on. ahead. Yeah. At the end of this movie, first off, the movie fucking sucks. The guy's so annoying. Yeah. He just screams the whole fucking time. He's like, oh, my God, it's Christmas today. He's like, what are you? Oh, the kids are here. I love your kids. Oh. He's like hugging his kids. He's like, my wife, my beautiful wife was here. Oh. What ha- Was it like the movie Click where he like goes away and then comes back? Yeah, it's one of those like there was there's some evil banker. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the SPXX uh, just stirred, dude. <laughs> there's a disturbance in the force. Uh <laughs> There's a Jew in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, this guy loses, like he he's going bankrupt or whatever, mm-hmm. and he's he's being a bitch about it, dude. He's gonna like kill himself because of it. What? And then he goes and uh, Wait, what's what's to, the banker have to do with it? He just tells him like, hey, by the way, he's he, so the guy, the main character, sent his boy to pay off the bank. He gave him like eight grand in cash, and the guy 
loses it. And the banker finds it and just keeps it. <gasps> and is like, yeah, sorry, you guys owe me money. He just stole the money. Really? Yeah. So then the main character goes to jump off a bridge and his guardian angel He's like, no. meets up with him. And then brings him back into town. I don't know. Brings him back into town as if he never existed or something. Yeah, like Ghost of Christmas Past yeah. kind of thing with a suicide. Yeah, the twist. guy goes in the bar and he's like, oh my God, Bert, how are you? So the guy's sc- like, I've never seen you, mister. You better get your hands off me. And he's like, Bert, what's gotten into you? And he like punches him. And Damn. He's like, what's going on here? So he's just a stranger in his town. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, in the end, the whole in the end, the whole town comes together to pay him, to give him money. They're like, we heard you were down on your luck, so everybody chips in to pay off his thing. And then, like, while that was happening, I was like, this movie fucking sucks. And I look over on the recliner, and my dad was sobbing, and he tried to hide it. He, he like, he like looked at me, and was like, what? <laughs> like, I like because you know, you know how when you're like, cry, have you ever cried during a movie? Sure. You know how you're like, I hope no one sees me crying. Like, mm-hmm. you try so hard to be like. <laughs> you're like <laughs> yeah, he did that but he was just full like eyes just <laughs> because oh he like God. wasn't letting himself cry so his eyes were just totally <laughs> just filled with water <laughs> yeah like spongebob eyes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally like totally full <laughs> eyes of tears and i like looked over and he was like huh? <laughs> what <laughs> i was you- like are you fucking crying at this dumb fucking movie <laughs> what did he say <laughs> he got up and walked away. Oh man, yeah, dude, so funny! I ruined his. He loves the movie. <laughs> you know, probably has sentimental value. You know, he grew up watching it. Sure, but it was, it was good. Fun. You could ruin that. It for was him. fun to like look over the couch and be like, "You're fucking gay, dude. <laughs> What's wrong with you?" <laughs> yeah, then I cried during an Apple commercial later that day. Did you really? And I was like, "All right, I see where I get it." <laughs> <laughs> well, what commercial uh, was it? We talked about it. It's a commercial where this gr- granddaughter makes a slideshow for her grandpa on an mm. iPad where her dead grandma, his oh, wife, man, is that'll get at you. the family table. Dead and they gr- play like the up music. Uh, dead grandmoms will get you. Yeah. Yeah, just an old man that's like, I miss her so much. Yeah, it's surviving like, oh. grandpa oh. is like. Surviving grandpa is tough. Surviving yeah. grandma can just plow through it like. I didn't like him. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. She has a bunch you know? of jewelry, and she's like, whatever. Um, but yeah. no, the gift, we talked about this. Time. Hold on one second. Let me let me uh, plug this in before everything gets ruined. All right, we're back. I had to plug in. We were, uh, we were operating on some low battery uh, energy. Did not want to yeah. just have something to slip into total yeah. the void. Um, so no, what is the gift? Re- refresh my memory. My mom bought me a T-shirt that said, I paused my game for this. You didn't tell me this, dude. I was probably ashamed. It's one of the most shameful gifts I've ever received. That's that's a nice dub T fucking a, gift. I I couldn't believe she got me that. She knows you're a gamer, bro. Yeah, I just handed it back to her. I was like, "What are you doing? You're not gonna wear that? You think I'm gonna wear a fucking? I paused my video game for this <laughs> T-shirt, dude. She thought you. She probably thought you were an Oom um Good Boy, dude. She tried to buy me an Oom um Good Boy gift. I'm like, I'm not gonna wear. I do. Like, I'm not gonna wear. You think I'm gonna wear this like on stage? You like should I have paused dude. my game for this. She probably thought it was <laughs> funny. You know how much laughs you would get? People she like, got Damn. some chuckles out of it. She was like, well, you, you probably did. I was like, shut the fuck up. Oh, shut up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you gave it back to her? Yeah, I handed back every gift I got. For Christmas? Just about. Except my one sister got me eye drops. That's what I kept. There you go. I got towels and eye drops. There you go. What were your other gifts? What was your haul? My dad got me a button down with a Notre Dame logo in just sewn onto it. It was like a regular button down. It was like a fucking checkered button down. It makes no sense that it has a Notre Dame logo on it. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's crazy. Dude, that's, I I can, I've seen those shirts before. I think your dad has one of those shirts. Yeah, he wears those constantly. I was like, all right, well, you're going to keep this. So here you go. I just gave that back to him and then Katie bought me a pair of boots that had like a zipper up the side. These like black leather boots. I was like, I'm I'm never going to wear these. You can keep these also. The zip up the side's tough. Wild. Oh, you could slide in and out of them. Were they like pointy? No, they, like were they like yeah, Elvin? Boots? They were insane. You not? You should have worn some cool shoes. With what? Some you should wear some like barn dog boots. Barn dog wears cool boots. Yeah, I think he got out of that phase. Did he? Yeah, he was yeah. wearing cowboy boots for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's <was> cowboy <laughs> boots, phase. and there's like 1940s like Italian hitman boots. Yeah. Like weird pointy. Well, barn like, dog short, so he fucking he he likes those like secretly. 
platform boots uh, gives him an idea. Yeah. Where is the barn dog? He's out in LA. No, I thought he was coming. I thought he was coming on. Oh yeah, we were supposed to have the barn dog on, but schedule the schedules just fucked us up. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Shout out! The, I shit on the hard times that one time. What was the hard times? The hard times. The thing oh yeah, dude. Were. I shit on that. Well, like, I just fucking around. Like I know. <clears throat> I feel bad. Oh, because we said they stole the marathon shitting. Yeah, thing. dude, they took that personally. I know. Well, that's a, that's a that's a bad Rightfully thing so. to be accused Rightfully. of. I just didn't think it was going to get back to him. Didn't even think about it. Yeah. And then I was like, man, I, I don't, I don't think we said anything that bad because as soon as you were like, somebody else said the same thing. It was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But then someone was like, what's the hard times? And I just shit on it that's so for no fucking reason. Funny. <laughs> the guy reached out. Was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. My bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I read it. I read well, it. Well, there it's was funny. a. It was funny because just that week, I'm like, hey, man, that's what happens. Sometimes people have to steal your shit, and it really it was. There was three people saying the th- <laughs> yeah. same thing. Uh, that week afterwards, I said something. I don't even remember. Oh, people getting PTSD from virtual reality. People are like he stole that from Holy Sunny. It's like <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. the fuck I get. Honestly, yeah, that's exactly what we get. <laughs> <laughs> but in other news, what um. No, dude. dude, how about the fact... So, first of all, the fact that you handed all your family gifts back is, like, very ne- Nebuchadnezzar or whatever. Who's that guy from the Bible? Nebuchadnezzar. Ne- Nebuchadnezzar, dude. Yeah, Nebuchadnezzar. Dude. <laughs> very Nebuchadnezzarian. That was, dude. That was a very regal to yeah, be like... Yeah, my mom also tried to give me a check. That was, like, my gift. It was $200. That's what's up. I said, babe, babe hang, hang on to it. Treat yourself. Yeah, for Slid real. Slid it right back. Woo. Come on, man. Damn, so you're just giving gifts? That's a tight Christmas strategy to be like, nah, you can have it. Oh, no. you can have that. Well, every gift sucked. So I was like, <laughs> uh, you can, I was like, you can just hang on to this. And they're like, no, but we'll just take it back. Here's the receipt. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to the mall to get a fucking $50 credit at the shoe depot. Man, that sucks. It was Christmas, Christmas shopping sucks. And then someone yeah. would be like, no, I don't, I'm not even going to do the nicety of like pretending I'm going to return this. Just. This stays with you. Well, because I know what will happen. It'll just sit in my room. Fair enough. It'll. Just, I'll have a pile of junk in my room dude, that I'll you, never touch. You were the Grinch. I didn't Grinch. <laughs> I was Gr- Nebuchadnezzar, dude. Go back to that. <laughs> Keep thinking I'm biblical Drew, royalty. Drew, if you're the Grinch, you would have stole everything. I would have Grinched out. Dude. So you just basically told everyone, for next year, you guys, give me gifts that I'm going to want. Yeah, do better. Although, this I'll, is crazy. the mom, I paused my game for this. I paused my game for this. pretty good, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a fucking Iceman Jones t-shirt. Fuck, dude, That's yeah. an absolute Iceman t-shirt. She gave you Scotty gear. She gave me an Iceman t Dude, your my mom. My mom basically was like, I think you're Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mom have it in your head that you wear, like, cargo shorts 20, like, all year round? Yes. Dude. I think they buy me cargo shorts occasionally. <laughs> you ever, that's, dude, there was a... <laughs> Did I ever talk to you about the Billy came up with the concept of Scotties, which is my maybe my favorite thing right now. What's Do you know that? what a Scotty is? No. A Scotty is just like a dude basically who would just be like rolling around and like I pause my game for this tea. Just big fat fucking legs and like fucking cargos <laughs> twenty four like you know people are wearing yeah. shorts in like the middle of January yes. and their legs their legs are just like totally red and they're just walking around just like <laughs> shorts and tea. <laughs> yeah, I mean Scotty or there's another Only word monster called energy. autism. Yeah, monster energy drink in hand at all times. Yeah. It's a Scotty, dude. True. Dude, it was so fun. Billy, like it. it's Billy calls Spud a Scotty all the time. He's like, dude, you're a fucking Scotty. And it, dude, it's so dude, fucking Dude, Billy's funny. a gamer. Billy's a Billy big-time gamer. Billy paused his game for this. Billy's a big-time gamer. Billy paused his game for this. Oh, dude, for sure. Every time he's at work, he paused his game for this. For sure. He's got the headset on playing Call of Duty. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I know. know. He paused his game to get up to go to work. Dude, <laughs> so then we, we did a dad meet. You'd be mad about that. <laughs> what, who? Billy? Billy. He's just giving a fuck. He paused his game for Spud's this. been killing him lately. With what? Oh, dude. Spud's been killed. Oh, somebody hit me up, or somebody tweeted at us and was like, we need a war room. What? With oh, Iran. With Billy and Spud, yeah, We need sure. to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I'll let them I'll let them discuss their fucking, let what, them what they've been attacking each other with. Yeah. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Oh, well, funny. tell me about it. It's pretty funny. What is it? Billy call, Spud calls Billy Shop now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it pisses him off so bad. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? What's he say? I have to let Spud explain it. I don't know, but the way Spud explains it is so fucking funny. Just saying that he just makes fun of. Him. He, he's like, <laughs> I don't know. I, you'd have to. He, he like talks about very specific stuff from that, and I, I forget because he's jacked. No, he just like I. I'd have to. I'll have to. Let me call. I'll call Spud in right now. Actually, where's my? Phone? Who the fuck is that? Who knows. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to revisit. I really don't fucking. I don't want to do it uh, an injustice. <laughs> but yeah, he called. I think because he just says like he's just a. Uh, 
I don't know. Honestly, I have no fucking clue. Sorry, let me find my phone. Yo, bros. Yo, I can't hear you. What'd you say? Yo, my bad. You mind? You mind if I put you guys on uh on the cast real quick? I want to clear up the the fight you guys have been having. What are you talking about? About what so you've what? been what What have you been What have you been this ripping? Is Billy, dude. This is me. Yeah, me, you, Billy. Fuck Billy, dude. He's talking so oh much shit on me. He's right. literally a fucking girl. Why? He's being so gay today, dude. He's just being a girl. Hold on. So what? What is? What have you been? What have you been ripping Billy up with? Everything. Billy's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shoving in your face, Andrew? Well, I was explaining I'm what. I'm shoving a point. Oh, dude, I got my hey buddy. Yo, I got hey buddy on video, dude, and he called huh? me. What's hey buddy? Dell. No, no, no. Hey, buddy, Pokemon G. Oh, you got Bossman on video. I put Bossman on video, and he like totally looked at the camera. <laughs> but my phone was still in there a little bit. He goes, you already being help, buddy? And I was like, fuck, dude. Oh, you're I thought I had buddy. gold. I got you're back to bully. my van. It was gone. Yeah, because you're a bully. So, dude, you guys, you're where, you're on the cast nah, right man, now. I don't. Oh, come on, man. Can you guys? Really? I'm gonna wrangle. I gotta wrangle it. You guys are in the on the cast right now. I was talking Why? about. How you're calling? I wanted to explain why you're. Why are you calling Billy Shab? <laughs> oh, Billy's absolutely Shab. It's hilarious. Yeah, why? Okay. He doesn't have a reason. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. That's Faith's best defense against being the king, Scott. <laughs> what are you eating, Scott? What kind of bagel are you hurting yourself with? What kind of bagel are you hurting yourself with? This is even worse than the fucking, (laughs) the shit, the treadmill that is your mouth this morning, dude. Oh, my God. What are you eating? A machine right now. I'm eating lunch, dude. Yeah, what? Like, what what kind of bagel? A pork roll egg and cheese, man. Or what what bagel? On an egg bagel. Jesus Christ, you know what I eat, dude. (laughs) Surprised there's not a maple syrup cinnamon twist bagel you're eating. (laughs) What? I don't see it. I mean, you think Again, you, dude, this is what I was saying to you before, Bill. Why are you fucking funny? laugh at me, not with me, stuff? So, oh, you know what I mean? God, dude, tell you can't have in. fun with them anymore. Yo, where, where are you guys right now? I'm, I'm at my house. Dude, I'm about to go to Bob's house. I got a fucking pleasure shit. All right, fair enough. We, we, we got to have, there's been a, uh, people want you guys on for another war room soon. It's whatever. It's uh, dude, I was making videos of Iran today, having a blast. They're freaking the fuck out. The Iranians, I don't know if you're in that. We, we, we're going to have to get filled in, honestly. So go go your ways. I, I, I wanted to check in. I, th- I thought there was a, a logic to you making fun of Billy for that. Just, you're just yeah, I make fun of Billy because it's like, it's the same setup as fucking I'm older than him, dude. You know, he just kind of like pretends. He like he'll, oh, so he'll, you're... Pick, he'll hear something and he'll t- he'll pick it up and like I thought Billy was so fucking funny. I was like, damn, Billy's fucking hilarious. And then I watched Chris D'Elia and I was like, oh, he just oh, yeah, yeah, literally okay. the same thing as Brendan Shaw does, dude. Okay. Not <laughs> oh, so you're you're Callan, Spud. You're Callan. He Shaw. That's your guy's dynamic. I mean, not <laughs> really, but I mean, yeah. I hear it. No, I hear it. Stays Brian Redman. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. I'm working. I'm living my life, dude. I'm getting hit with phone calls like this, dude. Oh, How the fuck dude. is this? Dude? I have fun. I have fun. I like you meet West one time. That'd be so cool. Dude, I'm on the path, dude, and you're fucking interrupting the path. I'm trying I'm, to win. I'm about to blast my chest. Are you familiar with comments, Bill? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm well aware, dude. You are the tail end. I gotta go. I gotta go. This is <laughs> God damn, dude. Sorry, dude. That was... All right. That's what he was talking about. I hope the audio comes through. He was saying that Billy just steals Chris Delia's pants <laughs> in his shop. <laughs> he's like, Billy, here's one thing. He's Wes Wat- Now he's Wes Watson for a week. Talks like Delia. He's like, oh, man, Billy's so funny. Then I look up. I'm like, oh, this is where this all comes from. <laughs> uh, nice. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. That's that's. It made me laugh. Yeah, I mean, that's as funny as it gets. Those two. Just fighting. Dude, that's literally. You just threw them on the phone and they instantly started fighting. (laughs) That's what they do all day. Yeah, it's crazy. They fight each other all day long. And then there's like, you're this person. No, you're this person. No, you're this person. (laughs) So. I love it. Glimpse. That's a glimpse into the life of Billy and Spud. Both on fucking headsets walking around the world. Just being like, hold on, dude. I'm in a deli. And Billy being like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) It's the best. So, either way. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, I feel greasy. I feel like I did a greasy thing. What do you mean? I feel like I, I did a greasy... I feel like I summoned online, just tons of online demons in a greasy manner. I understand that feeling, Matt. It's a tough feeling. Yeah. I don't think... I think you're fine. We didn't say anything bad about anything. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that. It was yeah. just funny. I, I just... I thought it was going to be more succinct. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, why do you... I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you that's had the, good. So you had the gamer shirt. Got handed back shirt. all the gifts. Handed it back. Um... No, dude, I'm on that Iran tip also. Spud's on that right so now. We, we needed a war room. I forgot. We should have Fuck. organized a war room. He's working, obviously. I know, I know. Spud I know. needs to get the SPXX, dude. Otherwise, gonna he's going to never be able to get to church. True. If he doesn't be able to get to work in the factory with the fucking church leader, dude, he's... I think Spud would do well out there. Spud would crush it in SPXX. Yeah, he's a good worker. Dude, he's a good boy. Yeah, he'd fucking keep his head down. <laughs> he'd, he'd find a. He'd find a. He'd find bay. Oh my god, he'd find dude. a good, chaste bay. No birth control, so it's like you just keep having kids, dude. Yeah, You're the guy, the one Spud dude. Spud seems like he'd be a guy with like eight kids, for sure. Yeah, down in SPXX, he might go down there and tear it down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. you get excommunicated pretty quickly. Yeah, he's he's not one to filter himself, so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so I also read, there's another article in the Atlantic about deep sea exploration. You fuck with the deep sea at all? Uh, Yeah, what, the Marianas Trench or what? You know about it. You know Come about on, the bro. trenches. You know about, know the, about, the, you know about the, guy, the underwater hot springs and geysers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's where the, the soup, that's where the soup comes. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. done your research. I just know about it. This, this what, are the, what are the primordial zones? Primordial soup. What are the zones? What do you mean? Oh, the, the depth. different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember them now. Blue zone, twilight zone, the abyss, and then the hadal zone is below the abyss. <sighs> yeah. No one's. No one you can can't get, get to, down there. No one can get to the hadal zone. Only James Cameron. He tried. His yeah. shit failed. His screen. His shit started cracking and breaking. Yeah. It couldn't handle the pressure. And it's I, terrifying. I think he went to the abyss. I don't think he went down to the hadal zone, dude. Because there's scary stuff. Well, they're going to mine. They're going to start mining the very, very bottom of the ocean because there's a ton of minerals down there. But nobody knows what the fuck's down there. So there's a bunch of scientists. Pacific Rim, dude. That's where you get Godzillas. Oh, for sure. All Megalodons, these things, dude. All these things are going to come out. Mothras. Well, dude, the, yeah, for sure. There's going to be some big moths You think you're out. getting some iron ore, dude. You're going to get like an ancient monster. <laughs> but the, the worry is they're kicking up. They're going to kick just dust up everywhere all throughout the ocean. They're like, eh, that'll be fine. Yeah, who cares? But the, uh, the like cool. Like 10 dudes are going to get rich, so. Oh, they're going to get fucking paper, <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, fuck it. With your fuck there's, everybody. They're signing contracts right now to people getting like thousands of miles of the ocean at a clip where they just get to troll it with little things and just stir up crap and just like pull up metal and be like fuck they like they're just gonna pull up iphone batteries yeah and just get fucking paid but the thing so there's all the chinese get a hold of this bro china is gonna fuck the ocean's ass do you think dude. chinese atlantis is down on the hadal zone with all it the is. cell phone batteries <laughs> <It is. laughs> dude the um Oh yeah, dude. Well, it's already, the race is already on, but the weird thing is, so there's hot springs down there, and they they have studied like the life forms. So there's no light, no oxygen, and it's like you said, it's a chemical soup, and there is organisms that yeah, can thrive. Yeah, munching on that shit. Munch on that stuff. Yeah. So it begs the question, on like what, what what's a fiery planet like Saturn or what's Pluto? What's what? No, that's cold. What's a real fiery planet? Um, Venus. Yeah, they're all very spooky. Very. What's one that's just gas? Which one is that? I'm not sure. I would say Venus is a very if gaseous. I had to guess, yeah. Maybe I don't know. Or Uranus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. So if there's stuff living, if there's organisms in the Hadal zone, or you know, not to get too technical. Yeah. Down in the Hadal zone. Down guys. in the fucking. There's like Grand Canyons in the ocean, which is crazy to yeah. think about, with fucking hot springs shooting up chemicals. So. If you have life forms in that, there could be little life forms in those planets that we can't really approach. And if there could if there could have been life that has evolved on gaseous planets, we could have ga intelligent gas forms that are flying around in outer space. That's what ghosts are, dude. Come on. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. Come on. So you think ghosts are intelligent gas forms from from Venus? Yeah, dude. 
that just they, they the only thing they can do everything they just can't since they're gas they have a hard time manipulating physical reality. But they can just knock over like a cup. That's all they can do, dude. They're just like <laughs> God, fucking. Only when they get mad, they're trying they're like, so hard. <laughs> they're like trying to save our planet. They're like, stop! You have to stop. <laughs> they just knock over a cup. Someone's like, I think this house is haunted. It's like, shut up, bitch. Ghosts no, aren't real. <laughs> they just slam the door, and you're like, oh, it must be the wind. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. well, just anyway, like, so I was jerking off to this fucking. Chest. <laughs> There's this ancient fucking sentient life that just floated, and they're like, I figured it all out. And you're like, yeah. all right, was I'm cold. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why am I chilly all of a sudden? Ooh. Oh man. Yeah, dude, I was bugging out on the Hadel zone. It's it is scary. Just confirms more, dude. I'm telling you, I keep coming into things that just confirm you my know research. What is scary giant squids. They're spooky. Yeah. Sperm whales and giant squid down there just fighting. Oh, for sure. It's so that's scary. Terrifying. It's so scary to know that in like pitch black water, in like freezing cold pitch mm-hmm. black water, some sperm whale is fighting a fucking squid. <laughs> and there's just a in fucking, the middle of the ocean. And there's a methane jet just fucking <laughs> releases all over them. And there's little things eating it. Dude, it's fucked up to think it's about. Great. Also, there's just there's just shit down there. We have no fucking idea. There might as well be aliens. In the bottom of the ocean, yeah. we have no fucking clue what they yeah, are. Yeah, dude, that's the that's the real final frontier. It, dude, literally, it's the bottom of the ocean. We don't it's, know what's that. It's harder but to get I'm to. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's mud and shit. It's not, dude. It's shit. Down there's there. there's gold down there. There's all kind. There's a yeah, ton there's of minerals. Rocks and shit. Yeah, dude. Ga- Grand canyons, geysers, dude. It's literally they tried putting the most like sophisticated scientists made like a thirty million dollar robot, dropped it to the bottom, and they're like, we got this, dude. I think they like did all the tests, all the physics floated to the top like two days later in a bunch of pieces. Yeah. It's millions of pounds of pressure. As soon as you go down lower, just fucking crunch it. You can't get down there. It's scary. It's harder to get to the bottom of the ocean than in outer space. Obviously. Yeah. Very spooky down there. Dude, it's it's literally the spookiest. Have you have you have you seen like just fish from the abyss? I've snorkeled before. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I've, probably, I've gone down probably, like you're probably on the surface nine feet. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've poached the blue zone a little bit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I can. You know, I'm not going to brag. I can snorkel and plug it up with my tongue, deep dive down and come back up and back mm. down. So wow. I'm pretty good. So I'm like basically a pearl diver. Yeah, true. I can go down pretty. Well, deep. That's how you got that surfer's eye. I mean, I don't. You know, <laughs> well, we don't I don't lionize to, myself. You get into it. Probably from all the snorkeling I did for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm bugging on deep sea. The, f- the fact that there's literally things that could have been down there for billions of years evolving. You know, we pretty much, we evolved out of like plasma or whatever junk, sea junk. Don't tell that to the SXSS people. You get fucking flogged. In oh, the they town would hate square. me, dude. They would a mystic like me. They would fucking uh, freak out at me. I'm a heretic. They would burn you. Probably, honestly. In a different century, I would I would orchestrate your burning. Dude, I'm like Giordano Bruno, dude. Exactly. That's exactly who I was thinking of. Exactly. <laughs> dude, I was reading. Uh, I wasn't reading. I was watching. There you a go. YouTube video. There you go. I like it. There's a little well, honesty. Well, you like to lionize thing. your reading. But I'll say there was text on screen that I did read. But yeah, technically I did read Parasite. True. Well, that's fair enough. That was the last book I read. Dude, Schopenhauer. What do you know about him? Not much. Go ahead. I think you'd be into him. What's he up to? So it's, again, I had I just been following my intuition here. I'm watching all this. There's like a oh, just following my intuition here. There's all school right. of thought, right? There's a, sure. or the school of life. I was watching. They're like breakdown, like philosophers and stuff. So I'd like watch a little breakdown because like, that way, like I'm not gonna read some old dusty book. Then like I can watch a summary and it's like, oh, this is what this guy was after, and it's like I'm cool on that. For some reason, the Schopenhauer one, I'm like, I didn't no idea what he was about, but I'm like, damn, this guy's shit seems sick. So then I watched the Academy of Ideas video about Schopenhauer, two-parter. Dude, his whole, his whole part. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I love getting there, like their whole, it's nice how you can condense like a philosopher's life work in like 24 minutes. Pretty fucking sick. Yeah. You know? So like, basically, he came to the conclusion that all life is, is just, it's just will. It's blind will and blind force with up from like the bottomless level to the very top, which is like dogs, cats, human beings. And all we're doing is just kind of like urging, just urging forward out of like weird anxiety and doom instincts. And it's nothing more than a tangle of just things eating each other. Yeah, exactly. I figured you'd be kind of into this. So, and then he, he showed, there was like, it sounds like something you'd like doom and instinct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything's just fucking and eating and shitting. So yes. his whole philosophy is like, that's the reality of, that's the reality of our world. And we don't, we can never gain an objective understanding on the world outside of our own psychic phenomenon. We just look at stuff, make up stories about it. But in the end of it, we're just walking around 
we've just staved off all the things that are trying to eat us for now. And he was talking about like an explorer. Until we get to that Mothra. <laughs> Until we fucking that pull that thing up from the bottom, dude, yep. or those fucking gas ghosts come from outer space. Like, oh, actually, we figured out how to uh, push buttons now. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, so he was like, you, so he's like, that's, and there was an explorer. Do they, they had a picture of it. It looked really fucked up. True. How come a ghost never did that? Push the nuke button. If ghosts are knocking over oh, cups sh- and shit, dude, don't tell. Oh they might- shit! One of the ghosts might be like, "Oh yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh, fuck." How are we not? I wonder how that? many ghost listeners we have. Yo, this shit. They came from fucking Pluto. I'm like this shit, fucking rules. I mean, dude. W- technically, we've been doing this podcast long enough that one of our listeners has died. True. <laughs> True that. Oh no, no doubt. It's definitely been a listener that's died. I, I would say probably like 10. Yeah, based on our fucking... <laughs> a couple ODs in our fucking group. <laughs> R.I.P.'s. The, R.I.P. Uh, to the dead dogs, R.I.P. to all the dead dogs, dude. Shout out to the dogs, dude. Pour one out. It's probably like World War II statistics, dude. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> probably are. It's like, how come our listenership doesn't go up? Because <laughs> like, they all keep ODing. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. Um, yeah, so then he was talking about this explorer who was like sitting there the one day, and he was like... He was like just chilling in the tall grass, and he saw a what the fuck was it? There was like a, a some sort of bird died, and like dogs started eating the bird, and then fucking like <laughs> fucking the lion came or a tiger came out and started eating the dogs, and he was just like Jesus fucking Christ, this <laughs> yeah, is yeah, horrible yeah, to watch. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, that's the nature of reality, and then all we so that's our that's all yeah, it is. It's just that's hard real. to watch. That stuff's hard to watch. Like that Dude. nature is metal stuff. That like yeah, oh, man. man. There's something in there that I just hate. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It's a horrible and he's like, that's he's like, that's that's it. That's what you get. Dude, We're, there's this image of a fucking baby kangaroo in the you know the fires in Australia mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. That just got while it was running, got caught in a fence and just like charred in a fence. Oh. And the the fucking I forget who's it was like a tweet that was like, This animal died in immense pain in absolute silence, like alone. And it was like all right. Yeah, man. Whoa. That's what kangaroos do. That's, yeah, every <laughs> kangaroo has died in immense pain alone. None of them died on their deathbed. Like, I had a good time. <laughs> Did you ever hear the island of monkeys that, like, a guy has to take care of now? They were research monkeys. And they were, like, on an island. And the companies were just, like, fuck, putting all these fucked up chemicals in them. And then they were, like, oh, shit, the funding got shut down. And they just left them on an island. And then some dude who was the janitor, apparently, is just like, what the fuck? And he just sits there and takes care of them now. That's sick. Yeah, he's just he's just fucking just sits there and takes care of a bunch of he like he is gonna get mauled hard. Dude, they, he, dude. They, I don't know. I forget what the guy. He's is getting saying. ripped apart eventually. No, he, maybe. he will. Well, yeah, maybe he's gonna. I mean, that's like Grizzly Man. Once the unnamed like, like Isotope Forty Four, because they can't go out in the wild. They have no survival skills, and they're like they've been injected with tons of diseases to study what diseases <laughs> do. So oh they're just God. diseased monkeys on an island. And he like petitioned like governments down there. It was like you guys, they're like third world governments. They're like, dude, fuck off. Yeah, I mean, if you get a government involved, they're just going to kill every monkey there. Some billionaire was like, I'll fund it. And he's like, hey, Somebody needs to kill those I mean, monkeys. Dude, they're like bioweapons, dude. Somebody needs to put them down. Someone watched Planet of the Apes. Like, I could do that. And it was like, oh, no, they just have diseases now. And then some yeah. guy's just like, what the fuck? And he just sits there and lives with them. And like, or he doesn't live with them, but he like drives over boats of bananas every single day. <laughs> and dude, it costs like thousands of dollars to keep these monkeys alive. And there's just some billionaire in New York who was like, fucking fine. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, dude. DJT might have to fucking drone strike that drone island. Strike the fucking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good island. That's, there's gonna be some fucked up disease that comes out of there. Yeah, for sure. But either way, but the um <laughs> I don't think I was like a researcher. I don't I didn't remember he was a dude who just like worked with him in some weird capacity and was just like What the fuck? That's it? And they're like, oh, whatever, dude, it's over. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. you're done. Here's your two weeks. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like, no, it sucks. We gotta find new jobs. He's like, Phil, No, what about these guys? Well, he has like he's like they all have personalities. I know them. Yeah, you know? of course. So, but the second part of the Schopenhauer stuff, he's like, once you realize you're like all it is is blind will. Every single organism, everything is just fucking pulsing yeah. towards something, you know, for its own benefit. Um he's like the next part is recognizing how you move around. And that's all, you're just trapped in a loop of the future of reward and how you're just kind of like, yeah, but one day, but one day. And then he's just like, it never does. You get your reward and like the pain and agony goes away for a second and then you just get bored, which inspires more pain and agony. And you go forward <laughs> and then you just go forward again. Like, no, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So his whole thing was like, and it, it sounds fatalistic, but his whole, his whole idea was that like, that's, the, that's what it is. And you have to completely transcend will in and of itself where well, he just went to like, he became like an Indian mystic basically. And was just like, so again, well, the whole point of that story is not to bore you, is to say <laughs> all of the things I'm reading all lead to mysticism, dude. Schopenhauer, 
I didn't have there was nothing about mysticism that came about it. I started researching them. Bam! At the end, start talking about the up and the shots, and I'm like, dude, <clears throat> what the fuck? I think that's because philosophy never gives you a real answer, and the only answer ever is to be like, you just got to shut off. Not all the time. Not everybody. There's almost no answer in philosophy. Oh that's no, what I always hated about it. True. You know. Well, yeah. I'd always be like, here's my theory, and then somebody would be like, no. That's wrong. Here's the theory. Oh, he, dude, he claims, like, dude, he claims to be like, I have the end all be all. He's he like, is right. He basically was like, you guys can stop now. This is what it is. It's kind of right, though. <laughs> Everything's just trying to fucking push itself forward. And again, I've, I've talked about it since I was a kid. I've always been like, everything's instinct. Mm-hmm. Everything we've ever, everything we do or say or act on is just instinct. Sure. I don't think there's much free will. Yeah. Well, that's, he said, I yeah, that's a good point because I've been I've been bugging out on free will lately, so yeah. But how about the fact that I infiltrated your dreams today, dude? That's got to bug you out. That is. I'm this reading is the about the first mi- time you've actually proven yourself to be a fucking clairvoyant, real shaman, dude. This was intense. That was, dude. So I'm today. I'm on the treadmill. I'm all I read about is mysticism, the rock contact, Schopenhauer. Just all, that's all I've been reading about is extrasensory yeah. perception. There was another study I read. Another a book I read yesterday, and they're talking about uh, there was a study where they did it. They would try to place images in people's dreams while if someone was sleeping. There was a guy who would try to place like an image. You know, it was like more more likely than like chance that like people would have extra like ESP things projected in their dreams. I'm on the treadmill. I'm on the or, no. I'm on the elliptical today, dude. I'm on the nice. tes. I've told you about the tesseract, right? You love lionizing yourself. No, dude. I'm, I'm telling you. treadmill. Not treadmill, elliptical, bro. elliptical, dude. elliptical. Let's but it, get the story straight. But I, I, well, I was I was saying the tesseract. <laughs> I call the elliptical the tesseract. Okay. You know what? I talked about this. No. The te- dude, I fucking I every morning I hit the elliptical and the first thing in the morning, and I do it for fifteen minutes, and I just work and I send people good energy. I send you at seven forty two. I'm sound just like this. I'm working up a ball. There's tons of like people don't can't see this, but there's a metaphysical fucking storm around me and I'm sending them off to everyone I know. That's the Tesseract, dude. I go there. The Do you ever send bad energy to people? No, I never. No, hell Hilarious. no, bro. I'm not. A, I'm not a dark shaman. But today, <laughs> That's all I would do. I'm saying, <laughs> I don't. I do. I actually do that without thinking. I'm just on the treadmill, like you know what? Fuck that guy. I hope shit doesn't work out for him. <laughs> so and what you just do? There's nothing bad about that. It's just a certain polarity. So I'm. I'm like. I'm pushing, dude, on the Tesseract. And I'm like this. I'm, I'm like I'm sending Shane good energy right now. And I'm like, I wonder if I can fucking infiltrate his dreams. And I started, I tried to send you an elephant. The first thing that came to my mind, I started going, first I sent you my little golden ball of energy. I've told you about that. Sent you that. I was like, maybe that, he'll see that flying around like a little the golden snitch. And then I was like, a gigantic elephant. I'm trying to channel images into your dreams. And then what happens? I come see you first thing in the morning. I said, Shane, did you have any dreams? What happened? I said, you were actually in my dreams. I, I made it through. I was trying to send symbols, and there, boom, I popped up. <laughs> it's so weird that the first thing you said was like, you have any dreams last night? I was like, you were in my dreams. The dream was about you and me. Fucking. That would be tight. That would be tight. If I- <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I didn't want to tell you this, but uh, how did you know? <laughs> I yes. sucked your dick last night. Yeah. No, the dream was you and me had a bunch of money, mm-hmm. and I, it was drug money, and I hid it in a couch in my house. And a dude came over and stole it. Motherfucker. And then it was like, what do we do? We got to kill him? Story of my life. So we just, I mean, I guess we just got to cut our losses and be like, all right, that money's his. It's all you can do, bro. You can't kill him. Wow. That was my dream. Interesting. That's an interesting You were dream. in my dream, though. Very interesting. And it was around the time, around 740-ish. Probably right around that time. I was like, Yep. That's, that's a deep rem. or whatever. The lot of, lot of, I was on the Tesseract. The tesseract. A lot of, deep, a lot of deep rem right before waking hours. So mm. I, was, I was 742. I was like, Shane's probably in like stage four rem right now. I could probably infiltrate his dreams. And I did. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. Yeah. Going to try to do it to some more people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work ever again. I mean, dude, for, I'm one for one right now. Yeah, but that was... Pure fluke. You're talking that's just pure synchronicity? No, you just happen to be in my dream. You said to yourself you never dream about me? I, no, I said I don't. I, I rarely dream. Okay. But now that I've cut back on the booze, that's why. Oh, you're getting you REM rebound. Yeah. You're getting REM rebound right now. Yeah. That's where the pink elephants come from. You literally stop sleeping so much that your REM sleep kicks in while you're awake and start hallucinating. <laughs> that's why alcoholics start to hallucinate. Yeah. Well, I don't have that. Obviously not, but I'm but, saying that's why. I never knew why alcoholics hallucinated. That's why. Yeah. They stop getting REM sleep and their body's like, look, man, 
we need to do some yeah, sort of. We're going to toss something at you. Isn't that weird, though? Your body needs to enter into like a total fucking yeah. fantasy realm. Otherwise, you die. Sick. What there was got? a family that had that. There's like a disease that you couldn't sleep. A whole family got it and they oh. died. And they died. How'd they all get it? I don't know. What was it called? Like a, a meth problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> what is this horrible disease? Yeah, it was in like Italy. They're doing fucking hot rails. I can't sleep. I have no sleep. (laughs) (laughs) I did only three hot rails and now I can't sleep. I was thinking about Italy a lot this week because of uh, Trump dog. You know, everyone's talking about World War III, which is not going to happen. But they're going to ask for us who? Iran? Yeah. That's not World War III. That's Iraq three. Yeah. (laughs) What the fuck? So everyone's saying it's going to kick off? But I was like, this must have been kind of how like the Italians felt like going into World War II. Just like, oh, fuck, this is our leader? Oh, like, yeah. It's like I voted for him because he was like funny and gave funny speeches. Fuck, this Dude, is our fearless leader that we got to follow? That would be that would be a, uh, for, for laughing so much about it, if he leads our nation to like a really horrific war, <laughs> yeah. that would be like, I, I was just, it was funny. He got fucking on, he was on The Apprentice, and we were laughing because you guys were crying and stuff. I didn't think he was going like, to. Yeah, that would be a tough We'd what what did Iran like, oh, do? What's what's the problem? What happened? Well, Soleimani was like a he was a bad guy. Okay, he was a very bad guy. Yeah, I was just reading an article about it because it was like the question is is like in this article it said you know this isn't but it was like do do you treat Iran as a country or as a cause? Is it a terrorism? Like is it a cause or is it a country that you need to respect? And the, the last couple of presidents have treated it like a country. But Soleimani was like, he really, he's also destabilizing. I mean, it's funny for us to be like, he's destabilizing the region because, you know, we are. Sure. Like, wild. We're getting in there. Yeah, but um, Been in there. The, he like, you know, he killed thousands of U.S. troops through like, he would set up militias in Iraq and see. I mean, he saved Assad. He like helped prop up Assad. Yeah. Who just, you know, he's gassing civilians. Like, Allegedly. I mean. This guy's a bad dude. Yeah, yeah. So he's a like, player on the world stage. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, it, I mean, it's wild that yeah. we did that. But he like, yeah. So it's like, do you treat Iran like a country or do you treat them like a terrorist organization? If they're going to be doing what they're doing, like setting up roadside bombs to kill us in another country. Yeah, well, that's always a funny thing too when they do the terror rebel distinction, terrorist rebel distinction. They're yeah. like, "Oh, look at these rebels! They're going in there and they're just like, eh, give I mean, them, the guys, give them a few blo- years, the guys blowing up shit too. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they always spin that around. But again, it's like, fuck, man, what the hell are you gonna do? Yeah, so th- we, you know, Trump drone strike to that guy, got rid of him. Damn, he drone striked like a fucking president. general. Yeah, he was up there. I thought you were supposed to just drone strike like. Civilian weddings and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a point of drones. <laughs> yeah, Hit, like, schools weddings. and shit and be like, that's not where they're from. Oh, my bad. <laughs> the drones actually have a sensor on them that when they hear the song Shout. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> There's some drone in this guy, like, locked on. <laughs> 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 Sir, we have we have several reports of shout and the electric slide coming from a dance hall. Get rid of it, private. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yes, the so Soleimani was definitely he was a bad hombre. Yeah, he was a bad hombre. He was a bad hombre. So it's not like the worst thing in the world, but Iran, you know, Iran's none too pleased. They're fired up. Yeah, I, but I, it's like, dude, fuck you guys gonna do about it. Also, I'll be you, honest. This is like high level fucking just like mafia kind of wars. Also, Saul Manny, I think, was talking shit on social media on Trump, which is make, makes me laugh. He was crushing him? He was like, I think he was trying to, he was, yeah. That's kind of horrific, He was dude. dogging Trump on social media, and Trump was like, okay. So, Twitter fingers, shit, turn. Twitter fingers turn into drone thumbs, dude? <laughs> yeah, real quick. Damn. Yeah. Anytime we kill a social media guy, I, I, I'm delighted. Like, when we killed ISIS's social media guy, I was like, this is the best. They got him? Just some dude posting pictures on Twitter. We were like... <laughs> what do you who do you think they, who do you think they would strike from our like entertainment complex? PewDiePie. You think they would get PewDiePie? I think they'll get because they heard him say the N word that one time. They'd be like, no, no, no. You think Soleiman would care about that? No, I think they're racist. Yeah, I would say <laughs> the Muslim community is pretty racist against <laughs> black people, to be honest. Yeah, what's going on with that fucking uh, the battles going on right now? Didn't you say there was like a? Didn't someone just get attacked or something? 
Isn't the Israelites wilding out? I mean, the BIs. Uh, yeah, the Middle East is getting fired up right now. I mean, Iran. Yeah, there's like, um, he also like shut down anti irani protesters in Iraq. Like he was like fucking with Iraq and Syria a lot. Iran is. Oh, I thought I was talking about black Israelites. I thought you said they like, oh, attacked someone. Well, yeah, that's no good. The BIs have been fighting. The too. black Israelites got fired up against. Uh, that was a while ago. That was in Jersey City. They like shot up something, and nobody, you know, no one cares. Really? There was dude. Jews are getting beat up by black people in New York like a lot. It's like kind of like the new knockout game. The proud boys. Now it's just are they just, the proud boys? Now you. <laughs> 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 yes except they're kind of falling through with it and it's they're going ham yeah well so they're not are they is the black israelites getting like uh banned right now are they getting well it's like, not just black. it's not black Israel, it's like just black dudes beating up jewish dudes yeah over what um i don't know like i said it's like the knockout game like if you see an hasidic jew you like push them oh <laughs> it's not a good game so they see the dudes rocking the gear, and it's like, it's, oh, just they said they they shove them. Yeah, but I th- I mean I think there's some stuff in there where so it's, it's like, like little kids. It's not like little kids doing this shit. Yeah, except one dude attacked a guy with like a machete. Whoa! Oh, that was a guy who said, "I'm gonna get you." Yeah, there's a lot of these. So they're, that get, quote, they're popping like, up. That quote was weird though. Screaming, I mean, "I'm in... going to get you!" Scream, just <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Some dude with a machete. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> You're just walking down the street. A guy with a machete's like, "You!" <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen someday. Or someone's saying, "I'm going to get." It's very Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jason. That's yeah, Borges yeah. type shit. I'm Some dude with get a you. machete. It's terrifying. Here we're down the scene where he slow walked instead of running for <laughs> he some slow reason. walked and still caught him. <laughs> yeah. The person almost got away and tripped I'd, over a root at the I last bet second. that could. That could happen. What? Acidic Jews are not very fast. You get a black guy with a machete. Oh, bro. Speed walk, he'd catch you. <laughs> speed walk will catch you. Dude, we, I worked for Hasidic Jews one time. They owned the uh, building that we were wiring. And the one guy, like the head dude came. They have like, there's like a hard rank to that shit. So the head, there was like a project manager would come around and he'd be like, you know, bitching about shit. And we're like, all right, dude, shut up. And then the head dude was like, hey, come here. Like, yeah, Ezekiel or whatever. Get over here. The dude ran because like it was all studded out. So if you ever go through a construction <laughs> site, it's all two yeah, by fours. Yeah, yeah. He ran. And I was literally like, we all stopped and we're like, it was just a, a movement that I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. It was, it was, dude, it was, it was just like as if someone's never ran before. And he ran in like the, mo- it was like when the Bambi, when the Bambi first gets up and starts the doing Bambi. <laughs> we all stopped and we're like, it was like he put like his head down, his arms went out. He like, it looked like he was flat, dude. It was the funniest, fu- and we, all, we all just stopped and it was like, cause I never put that together. She said, all that, right. Like, well, if that's the case, yeah, I can see how the black teenagers want to push them and make them run. <laughs> you can knock them into running. I get it. It's like cow tipping. It is. No one ever said <laughs> it's exactly like Cal Tipping. <laughs> White trash only had, just doesn't have Jews. True. That Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, as I said this, I'm like, oh fuck. The, yeah, because uh, this is actually a real problem. Yeah, it's a bad problem. Don't it's do it. It's a bad it. problem. But it's also like we're trying to uh, laugh in these dark times. Yeah, dude. there's nothing. Don't to, you dare. But it's cra- it's crazy because first <laughs> off, it's not it's not really national news. If this if this was <laughs> dude, imagine if this was honkies doing this. I know. It'd be nuts. <gasps> I mean it's it's just it's a it, horrible I, it's horrible to attack someone based on their creed. Yeah. But dude, their outfits are so silly, dude. So but, stop <laughs> it. Sorry. <laughs> it's like did anyone ever give him like a double sideburn pull and be like, Zoinks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> it is horrible. It's not funny. I, yeah. I would say don't do that. That's fucked up. Of but, course. God damn it, the fucking gear is funny, dude. I mean, Weird Al pwned them. Have you hard. seen New York black people's gear though? Have you seen like a Bobby Schmurder <laughs> music video? That's, That's who's beating up the dude. It's a clash of goofy outfits. <laughs> it's a clash uh, of wild outfits. Just a Chopin Harry and just Will is pure <laughs> Schopenhauer, dude. They're just people fucking bumping into each other. <laughs> no, but the the it it also comes from like. Uh, Landlords. I mean, a lot of the landlords in the black uh, communities are like there is like a yeah. There's like definitely a, a clash dude, society. Like, I mean, the they, hard, uh, they're land they're landlords. If you if you play the full on hard left game, leaving the hijinks aside, dude. Well, it, well, it yeah. goes anti semitism pretty quickly. The hard left type view of this is why it's not national news. Yeah. Now, if these were honkies getting wild, bro, bro, 
it would be. You're talking about if a honky double zoinked? They st- <laughs> if the honkies were zoinking, <laughs> there'd be a major problem. But they double doorbell. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> dude. This is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, it's fucked up. It's so bad. The the thing is, is like, it would, it, like obviously this is, I don't know. It's it's frustrating to see how transparent the media is when it comes to presenting shit like this. Because I don't want to be one of those guys who's like, well, gun crimes are actually mostly black people. Yeah. And everybody only talks about white people. But it's like, if if it was white people, like they still try to be like, this is a rise of Nazis again. Yeah. In Trump's America. It's well, like, dude, this is black people from New York. They'll tie it into that narrative. It's like, stop it. Yeah. You yeah, they'll, they'll tie it into that narrative and be like, and more hate crimes. Yeah. It's like, well, technically, hate, yeah. Yeah. So they, they, you're telling me they leave the identity of the assailant? How are you getting your hands? They mention they... it. They everyone. Well, they'll, they'll show footage like on the news, and it's like six black teens like chasing an acidic Jew. It's <laughs> fucked up. It's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, and like you know, Jews have been having a rough go lately. They've been having a tough time. Yeah, all the you know the alt right did get after them. They get wild. Alt right's got on them. They were yeah. Remember like Charlottesville? The dude shot True. up like a synagogue and yeah. like yeah. It's like. Yeah, man, I don't understand why people just don't chill the fuck out. Have a good laugh, dude. Turn on the cast. Listen to the cast, Take bro. it easy, man. Chill. That's the thing, too. People would attack us as if we're, like, out there dri- delivering all the zoinks in the fucking world. It's like, <laughs> dude, we're fucking around. That's why I don't understand. I don't know, man. That shit is just weird to me. What's that? What, when people come after, like... Comedians. Comedians? It's like, I mean, yeah. dude, let it, let trace the line to the dude who's listening to the cast and then fucking just going off and doing shit like that. And dude, I'll, I'll be like, all right, my bad, dude. Yeah. It's like, what? It's just, it's a weird thing to go after. Because if they were to be like, again, just present the narrative as it is, be like, you have these crazy white dudes going on, you have these crazy black dudes doing wild shit, and be like, we got to stop people doing wild shit. But then instead, they codify it with race, and it's like, white nationalists do this, and they're like, crazy black teens. Like, these are, just, we've said it before, these are just fucking dickheads. Yeah. So you have a dickhead problem. You have a dickhead and an idiot problem. We have a problem. very intense dickhead problem. We have a universal idiot and dickhead problem. Yeah. And instead, it just gets fucking sheened into like, Nazi. Well, you know, obviously, Nazis are dickheads and assholes, but it's like, it, everyone tries to codify everything with race, like, this is a problem, and you yeah. did this, and it's like, dude, anyone from any of those groups would be like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. But instead, everyone gets pitted against each other. It's like, we're not with that, bro. Yeah, this we're is not with peace that. and unity, dude. This is pure unity. It's pure unity. Love it. No zoinking, dude. Quit knock zoinking. It off. Knock it off. Knock it off. Don't even dare, dude. Don't you dare zoink it up. Put the machete down, dude. Bro. No, what are Jason. you doing? Who was the macheteist? That had it. That was a white guy. No. What? The black dudes. <laughs> For real? Yeah, they're wilding right now. It's on you their landlords. They don't know. You probably see a dude in that outfit. You'll be like, "That's that motherfucker That's right fucking- there. That's that son of a bitch right there." It's like, nah, dude. He's like, dude, it's got to be him. Yeah, that's a distinct look. Oh, man. I'm talking about the gear. Talk about the gear. Something fucking horrific. Never mind. Talk about the gear. Let's take you to the page. Red fifty-seven. Anyway, <laughs> so I wish that was the page. That was a, that was a crash landing to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, well, I don't, again here's one here's one that i was thinking of because it's like even let's say you traced back violence to a comedy podcast sure it's like do you think you could trace gang violence to rap and would you pursue that yeah that's a, probably not nobody wants to talk about it's that. like dude if there was a, let's say let's say there's a you know a drive-by shooting while they were blasting rap in the car. Yeah. It's like, dude, imagine if there was a shooting while they were blasting secret <laughs> podcasts. Oh, my God. It'd be like, hey, group, hey, group, no. Oh, for sure. It's like, meanwhile, if you black, you know? <laughs> some some little some kids, weird. Some little kids running around. He just grabs two pieces of hair. He's like, and we're back. He's like, Pah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it is strange. That's one. People don't want to touch at all. The rap thing is like, because people be like, well, there's heavy metal. It's like. Dude, I wouldn't abide by the codes and, of heavy metal either. That shit freaks me the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, and when, I think in like Scandinavia, they started like burning churches because of black metal. They would like listen to like death metal. They like started banning that. Like They were like, all right, cut that shit out. Yeah, dude. Once a, yeah, but like for some reason rap is just like, no. It's it Even no because it, like, there's so many forms of it, but dude, of course th- there are forms that are like pure yeah, Satan like, the demonic shit. Like dude, and it's like if you think about it, from the time you're little, to the time you're older, you're hearing this like just kind of like 
basically like a war drum, dude. It's like, boom, 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 and it's just like, shoot, kill, shoot, kill, shoot, kill, Percocet, syrup, Percocet, syrup, kill. Yeah. That has to have a fucking effect, dude. That has got to have an effect. It's had an effect on me. Yeah. I've I do- listen to enough rap. I'm like, if somebody disrespects me today, it's, I'm going to fuck them I've, up. I've literally, like, I used to always listen to rap while I worked out. That was like my favorite thing. Yeah. Working out, and then if I drove by myself, I would listen to rap and be like, I'm the fucking man. Yeah. Anymore, like, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, I think you made fun of me the one time. I don't know what's happening. You're like, you're just becoming an old fucking white dude. That's what's happening. True. But I like... I mean, this is a very old white guy argument where it's like, well, what about the hip hop causing violence? But I mean, it's again, sure, it could be silly. But you always have to hedge your bets when you make fucking oh, old sure. white guy comments. Like for that. sure, yeah. for sure. But it's also you have to be like, hey, we are aware. Like, we sound like curmudgeons. Hundred percent. Sound like I'm I'm gonna cry during a wonderful life. Hundred percent. But then yeah. there, again, there's then there's the whole argument of like, well, you know, this was all I had growing up. It was like it gave me, inspired me. And sure. It was, totally get that. Yeah. But God damn it, dude. Some of the shit I listen to, I'm like, well, that's just negative. <laughs> that's very negative. Well, and it's also, it's like, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the media's approach to it, where mm-hmm. it's like, if if a different genre of music was instilling violence, they would destroy it immediately. Dude, if I picked up the acoustic and started like just singing and was yeah. like, I will shoot a motherfucker <laughs> if he did. It's like, all right. People make, dude, leave. Eh, maybe they have that though. Little Johnny Cash, like I shot him down. True. Well, that was that you was know? during that was when bums were really. There was like a big bum culture. If you read the book <laughs> Jack Black, that's like the Grateful Dead. Like they were always like glorifying like hop on a train, just walk around. It was yeah. just dudes like on trains like pissing on hay and stabbing each other. <laughs> it was shitty. It sucked. But they like glorified that life yeah. of being like a, a like a wandering. No, I read some Kerouac. Yeah, like a wandering oh, petty man, thief. Man, I could do that. Yeah, it's like sucks. No, I tried. I listened. To, I listened to. I used to read Bukowski, and I was like, Yeah, dude, I could do that. Oh, dude, <laughs> it's like I got drunk like three times. I was like, This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can fall prey to it, but there's, yeah. there has to be a point where you're like, Nah, dude, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it sucks being a being a drug lord in the project sucks, dudes. Don't aspire to that. Being a fucking hobo on a train sucks, dude. That's not a good goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are getting hit with fake goals. That's what I'm saying, dude. Legalize all drugs. Cut out the drug market totally. You will cut out so much fucking bullshit. Because if you're trapped in an environment where, like, literally, dude, if you're in a, there's certain parts of Philly where you're in a neighborhood where, like, a lot of people you know, it's like everyone in your, fi- not everyone in your family, but, like, there's so many people around you that, like, legitimately, not, like, can't come up, but, like, the idea of getting a job is like, yo, you got a, it's like, you got a job. It's like, how the fuck did you do that? Yeah. And then you just put fucking making three, four hundred dollars a day selling drugs. It's like, I'm taking selling drugs all day. If you eliminate the drug dealing part of it yeah. as even a possibility, all that fucking life force, it will go, it'll, it'll reseek another level. And start oh, going. Man. But dude, it's like you put the drug market, all the, the, like nobody can get a job or, you know, it's just like it, people are just so totally blown out from generational just shit that's happened. And then, there's no jobs, all the criminal stuff, and it's like it, it, it's fucking no one's no one's doing anything. But I'm telling, and it's like obviously like blah blah blah. But <laughs> dude, the rap stuff, I've been I listen, I I can't listen to it anymore, man. I, I'm at really? the gym, I'm working out, and I'm just kind of like it's just putting me in a bad mood. So I fuck that bitch, and I can't. I'm like that's not nice. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta find. I mean, like you said, it's a pretty vast sure. There's genre. tons. Of, there's tons of other stuff. Listen, toss on some Kendrick Lamar, bro. Just, he's, he's just enjoy it. No, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not. And again, I'll be. And I say this all the time. Come two days, I'll be in my car listening to rap, being like, yeah. "Oh, I like it again." Yes, but I'm telling you more and more. I just fucking. I think I'm you'd like, like J Cole. He's all right. That's he's the thing too. Good. That was funny. I only like the most like true fucked up horrible rap. The true, shit I'm is talking totally about is the only rap I like. Which is totally fine. Like <laughs> I like the, I like fucked up movies. As soon as like, people yeah. rap about not killing people, I'm like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So again, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah, I've killed a man back in '86. In '86, I was just born. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. The rap thing's something I because again, there's no way to talk about it because it's like I'm listening to. It, I'm like, dude, this has to be bad for people. Yeah, I mean, this has to be fucking warping people's perceptions. Of being like, there's this thing where it's like, if you get to get to the top, here's the behavior. Here's the behaviors to engage in, and you will get to the top and be the boss. Yeah. And it's like. No, 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 no! no. no don't, don't that. do any of that. That's just horrible. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the movie Scarface. It's yeah, like, exactly. That's what you got to be like. <laughs> yeah. If you want that cool house, you got to be like him. Yeah. It's 
like, no, don't do that. Well, that's what nobody wants. And again, I, I, dude, if I grew up in a just a bombed out environment, I'd be like, I totally, I get that. But what nobody wants to talk about, the only way out of that is like one or two generations of just mind numbing, boring, low paid labor. It's horrible. It's a horrible thing to think about. That's the only way to get it from the very, very, I mean, of course, people, there's be, you know, exceptions to the rule. But also, too, there also could just be like, if you ever think about it, there might just be not enough jobs. So you're like, get it. And then there's, there's, imagine if all the jobs are taken and you're just like, no, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to get one. They're like, oh, come on, man, I didn't get a yeah. job. It's like, no, I'm telling you, they're just, they're, there's they're, no jobs. There's like, well, no- stop listening to rap. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so it's fickle. Like, I never try to come across as a total authority, but it's like, that's an annoying thing, too. You can't just explore something anymore. People are like, did you hear that? Therefore, and it's like, bro. I know. If you think you even got to the fucking even, you, this I is know. this is one wrinkle of the infinity of my mind, dude. Don't ever try to reduce me to some fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> Hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's entirely. A, are you gonna have anxiety after this podcast? Uh, no, nah, I think I'll be all right after this one. Yeah. Uh, it's just. I think the point of it is, it's like a weird. It's it's just when it's so transparent. When the media is doing this, when it comes to like again, like with the Jewish people getting beat up by black people right now. Yeah. To be fair, they went. The news went pretty ham on black people in the early '90s for about uh, 15 years. Being like a Southwest Philly, another black guy did <laughs> yeah, something no. fucked up. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> the news went ham. I think they're giving yeah, them a break. Just, when the pendulum keeps swinging, sure. It's like let's try to try your best to keep it in the middle. Just say what happened. Here's what happened. Yeah. You know, but again. You know, why would you do that? You're not in charge of the news. Yeah. People own the news, so it's like, what you going to do? Yeah. And, and it, it, like, yeah, when it's so clearly click-driven, yeah. when it's, like, more the rise of neo-Nazis in New York, it's like, these are not neo-Nazis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these are black dudes. <laughs> like, why are we doing Did they present it as neo-Nazis? Yeah, there's been articles of that, yes. They could be they could be neo Nazis, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy love. <laughs> <laughs> neo Nazis are just neo. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. I I enjoy that. Could be, dude. Could be. <laughs> I think that would be a good look for the Nazis if they switched to a more neo approach, <laughs> just like better dancing, more sex appeal. You know, neo wrote a lot of hits. Yeah, he wrote uh, "You Should Let Me Love You" by Mario. Wow. Um, you know what's funny, too? I was thinking about Beyonce the other day. <laughs> dude, I've, I'm sick of hearing about her sex life. It's just like, dude, you're married. Stop. You're done. I'm sick of it. I'm sick I'm of gonna fuck my husband. Standing her. Huh? Motherfucker's standing. I stand Beyonce. It's like, dude. What's stand? I don't get it. Stand, you know, Eminem, that song, Stan. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like, I'm a, obsessed. I'm a oh, fan. Then, okay. It's like an identity now to be a Beyonce fan. Oh yeah, the Beehive, bro. <laughs> Sucks. No, is it? Yeah, it's the Beehive. I think. Well, it's also like uh, Brittany was listening to a Beyonce song, and a lot of her songs are like, "I'm gonna back it up on you. I love you so much. I'm gonna slap that thing back." And it's like, dude, you're married. You're married, of course. What do you have once a month? Like, come on. You stop. should. You should. You know what, Matt? I'm disappointed in you. Why? That you don't see the value in that. What? Just loving, just having a beautiful, healthy sexual relation with. <laughs> Your spouse. <laughs> I mean, I get that's it's, what it's all it's about. A good thing. That's, that's the message, dude. Monogamy. No, I get it. That you is like, a good message. See, that's exactly, I'm totally impossible exactly to please. Exactly what you're saying. I'm in totally impossible. Your taste to please. in music is like, no, I want to hear a slut talking about this. I want to hear about <laughs> no, because I gun violence I'm just, and sluts. That's the one thing too. I'm just, I'm also, just an aside. I'm never pleased. I'm never happy. So I'll literally be like, you know what people should do? People should get together, cheer each other on. I'll see a marathon. I'm like pussies. <laughs> so like, I'm never, I'm True. never pleased. True. It's like, well, why can't we promote peace? And then somebody like online will be like, "Look at this beautiful thing." I'm like, "You guys are fucking gay. <laughs> Shut up." <laughs> but yeah, I have been trying to quell my negativity. But that was something I've been saying forever. When it's yeah. just like, and then I'm, it, it all, it's always like sliding. She uses the weirdest adjectives. I'm sliding on, and it's just like, all right, dude, like fucking. Yeah. Like, are you forty year old? Vir- like, I had a, a a theory that she's just like a secret virgin. She uses very forty year old virgin terms. Yeah. And I was also laughing that like surfboard was just a blumpkin. <laughs> Wait, what's surfboard? Did you ever hear that one song where she's like, surfboard? That was like a sex move she described in a song. Surfboard was one of her other sex moves. I swear <laughs> to God, I think she's a virgin, dude. So all of her, you hear her sex moves, you're like, how does that one work? Unless she's on like a, just a different level. But I was laughing. The day she starts singing about giving a blumpkin, dude, I'm going to be like, I'll be a stand for Beyonce. 
my man's on the toilet and I'm sucking on him. I'm so appreciative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's taking a dump, but I'm still sucking My king. <laughs> my king is shitting, so I'm making him come. <laughs> Dude, I was washing the dishes while she was listening to Beyonce thinking about surfboards and Blumkin, and I started laughing. But it was so funny. I was just like, it's not for you. Yeah. You would not appreciate this. You know what also is weird? This is, I mean, we've covered this. Now that we're getting out our all our fucking old white guy gripes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else has been bothering me for a while? <laughs> I've been, I, watched a, I watched a comedy special last night of this white chick mm-hmm. that just totally appropriated black culture. Like, that's her identity. Okay. And then what she's... What color's your hair? It's black. Okay, a lot of times they do, like, red hair. She's got a fro. Yeah, okay. The white chick with a fro. Come on Interesting. now. Interesting. Come on now. Okay. But well, it's like... Just going on and totally like twerking and like just doing all this shit and like just a comedian. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll show she, you in between. Fat ass or no? Yeah, she's she's attractive, but it's all Pog. like it's all about like being as far left as possible. But then the entire time that involves appropriating black culture. Oh, for sure. Like to the to the nth degree, like coming out and be like, "Yes, bitch!" Like all that. Yeah. And it's just like slow down. Slow down. Yeah, Think there's about a, what you're doing. Uh, that's pretty uncomfortable, dude. I've seen that before. Even with Britney, I'll see like they'll just be like random white chicks who are like, "Yes, girl, oh my god," and I'll I get uncomfortable for them. I'm like, "What are you doing?" Stop yeah, it. yeah, do yeah. Because it's funny because I've noticed she'll just be like, "Okay, all right," like, "What the fuck?" It's yeah, just gotta be weird. And they'll be the first to be like, "A white person with dreadlocks is evil. That's not your hair." And it's like, "Well, you you've d- adopted their entire personality." Yeah. And you use it comedically. It's not like they use... They, it's like an ironic way of using black terminology. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll oh, be like, for sure. Yes, bitch. And it's oh, like, yeah. you're, you're, you're not using that genuinely. That's like all like 23-year-old white chicks now. Yeah. It's, it's just, that's like the mode. That's the it's mode like, of Yeah, and it's, you know, it's because of the internet. It's like Twitter and all that True. shit. It's like, it's like, that's how we talk now. Yeah, but is, if someone came is up... Is ironically just culturally appropriating people. Yeah. Ironically, and then being the moral compass for everybody else, dude, it's, it's, it's odd. It is odd, but it's also you're dealing with people who aren't scratching the surface, really. Yeah, they're just reacting. They're seeing stuff and being like, "Yes, oh my god, this is everything." I love uh, this. Yeah. Oh, wait, what did they say? Cancer. Uh, what else is going? On? Oh, look at this. Uh, I'm sending a picture of Nene Leakes fucking frowning to my friend. Uh, Nene Leakes is from Atlanta, Housewives of Atlanta. Excuse me. Hell um, yeah. yeah, dude, it, it's it's fucking crazy. I'm, I'm gonna show you. Let's let's switch over the page because right. I gotta I gotta drive back to yeah. Let's do it. Nueva York for the Eagles Ooh, game. Let's do it, dude. 